Some say it's a fine looking house, and some say it's for the birds. It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Mayberry. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a three-dimensional birdhouse. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Today we're drawing a three-dimensional birdhouse. I have my paper turned the landscape way, and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. Okay, I'm going to start off just to the left of center, and I'm going to draw three sides of a square. So I'm going to draw the left side, and I'll come over and draw the right side, and then I'll draw a line across the bottom. Now I could draw a complete square, but I'm going to erase the top line if I do that. I won't need the top line. So I thought rather than erase, draw a line and erase it, I'll try doing the drawing this way. So I'm just drawing, it looks like a letter U, so it's three sides of a, of a square. And then the next thing is to kind of lay out where the, the roof is going to be for the birdhouse. So I'm going to go up above. These two lines should be about the same height across from each other. And I'm going to try to find, just by looking, the center and then go up above about that far and make a line that's vertical, just a short line. And this is going to be where the, the roof, the tops of the roof are going to meet at this point. So that's the middle of the birdhouse from the front. And so what I do then is I'm going to start at the bottom of this little line and I'm going to slant down and go past over the top of the left side here. So just straight down, actually down at an angle, um, and then over this edge, just a little about that far. And it's good on these lines to start off light and then to uh, make them darker once we get everything in place. There's a few things we are going to erase with this, but I eliminated a big thing by not drawing that line first here. So if you'd like to draw a square first and then erase that part, you can if that makes it easier for you. Um, but I thought I'd try doing it this way today. So now I'm drawing the right side of the roof and I want to go down past the, the right edge here about the same distance as I did on the left side over here. So that's going to make the bottom edges of the roof on each side and then I drew this short vertical line at the top of that line I'm going to draw from that point down along to the uh, edge down here in fact what I can do actually let's do this first I have this is how thick the roof is going to be I'm going to come down here let's start on the left side and I'm going to make a short line about the same size as what we have up here but it's perpendicular. It's going at a 90 degree angle here away from the roof. So it just goes out, slants out to the left. And then I can draw a second line between this top and the top up here. And it should run parallel. It should run even, same direction, same spacing from this original line. Of course, a parallel line is a lot like a railroad track. It's when you have two lines that are going the same direction, but they never touch, and the same distance apart from each other. And so there's two parallel lines here. Uh, we actually did that earlier. If we do when we did these two, these two are parallel with each other. And then we're going to repeat that same thing on the right side. So I'm going to draw a short line that sticks out at an angle, and then connect the top of the roof down to that edge by drawing a line that's parallel with the one that I have below it. And there's the basic structure of our birdhouse. Now, we said we're drawing a three-dimensional birdhouse. Let's talk about that for just a second. This one here is a two-dimensional birdhouse because it goes two different directions. It goes up and down. We call that height, or, or we could say that it goes high. And then it also goes side to side, which we would say is width, or a lot of times I say it's wide. So it's high and it's wide. 
and that's two different dimensions or two different directions that this goes. But we want to make this look like it's three-dimensional, meaning that it goes back into space and looks like it comes out at us both. And so the third dimension is what they call depth, um, or I'll say that it, it the birdhouse is going to go deep. It's going to go further back. So it's going to be high, wide, and deep. And the way we do that is to draw a line that slants up towards the right. And I'm going to try to make it look like this birdhouse is kind of like a, a cube um, shape. It's not going to be extra long. Now you can make yours longer if you'd like, but I'll, I'll show you about what I'm going to do on mine. I'm going to start on the top point here and then make a line that slants towards the upper right of the paper here. And I don't want to go a real sharp angle. That would look too funny if I if I go a sharp angle. It's not going to work right. And I don't want to go too down low because then that's going to give us an odd perspective, an odd viewpoint. So I'm going to kind of slant it up slightly uh, up towards the right. And I'm only going to go far that far back. Now you can make yours longer if you'd like, and then you just have a long bird house. That that would be fine. But that's about how far I want to make that line. So go ahead and make a line that slants slowly up towards the right and the next step is to make the back side of the roof and it's going to be parallel to the front side so it's going to slant down at the same angle that the front side does so I'm going to start here on this edge and try to make a line that slants the same direction as the front now you could use a ruler for this but for today's project I wanted to keep it simple and just try to free draw this uh, by looking and making decisions just based on what I see. So I'm trying to make this then again parallel with the front side and then I'm going to make another line that's parallel with the top at the bottom of the roof here. So that's will give us a shape they call actually a parallelogram. It's like a diamond where you have two sets of parallel lines. Okay, so that's the bottom edge of the roof there. And this roof has some thickness, just like the front. The, the, it looks like it's a board that's thicker. We're going to do the same thing at the bottom. We'll see a little bit of it because of the, the view that we're looking at this from. So I'm going to make, just like I have a line that slants out here on the left side of this part, I'm going to go over here to the right side and do the same thing and make a line that slants... So again, we have another set of parallel lines. And then we're going to connect those two, and that'll make the bottom edge of that side of the roof. Okay, I'm going to clean up a few things here as I go. Um, sometimes when you make these kind of lines, you go over, and that's okay. And then I'm going to clean up, erase the places where I went over. All right, now it's starting to take shape. We see the roof of the birdhouse. And in fact, let's do one other thing. Just like this slants back at an angle right here, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going to slant until it reaches the front edge of the house here, just back at an angle like that, just a little short line. But that gives us an extra uh, dimension there, too. It makes it look like it goes back further behind where we can't see. Okay, and then now the last side of the birdhouse is going to be this back edge and I want to make it look like the it hangs over the roof hangs over the edge of the house here so I'm not going to start on the very corner I'm going to move over a little to start about that far and then I'm going to make a line that's vertical to the uh, this front part of the house so just straight up and down vertical and parallel to the front part of the house both both things so vertical up and down and then parallel with the, that line there. So those two are parallel. And then the last line, the bottom of this house is, I actually went further here than I needed to, but the bottom of the house is going to run parallel with the edge here, or these, these same lines that we've drawn on this side. So I'm going to start here at this bottom corner and try to slant up at that same direction, same slope, just like that. Okay, so there's the bottom edge of the house. Now you can see I drew too much here, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that, clean that up. All right, and so here's 
our three-dimensional house shape. It's, it's high, it's wide, and it's deep. Okay, now to make it a birdhouse, this could be a regular house. I want to make it a birdhouse, so I'm going to put an opening here for the bird to go in and out of. So a circle. And I'm just going to freehand a circle. Now if you had a circle that was the right size, a lid from something, you could you could trace it. But I'm just going to freehand mine, just keep drawing around and around until it looks looks good. Okay, so there's the opening. And I want to make it look like the uh, in the opening here that this front has some thickness to it, so I'm going to add a second curve right here. And that'll kind of give us the illusion that the this board on the front is thicker. Okay, so that's the opening that the bird can go in and out of the birdhouse. So the bird can go in and out. Now let's, a lot of times on the birdhouses like this, you'll have a peg out front of the door, of the doorway, uh, something for the bird to rest on before they go in and out. And so, and sometimes they'll stick their head in if they've got little birds in there, they can feed them or whatever just by sticking their head out and sit on this this little peg out here. So I'm going to start by making a circle about right there in the lower lower corner, not all the way to the edge, a little way from the edge. And then it's going to end underneath the center of this opening. So I want to slant this line the same direction as these other lines. I'm going to start on the top edge and slant that same direction till I land right below the center here of the opening. Then I'll make a curve about the same as the curve over here and then I'll draw a second line that's parallel and that'll complete the little peg and it makes it look like it's sticking out of the wood on the front of the birdhouse. So there's a little place for the bird to rest before he goes in or to like a front porch, he could step out on this before he takes off uh, front step. Okay, so this is the basic design for the birdhouse. Now, um, to make it look like it's actually somewhere in space, let's add a horizon line. And of course, that's the imaginary line in a picture where the sky and the earth meet. So that gives us some another sense of space here in this picture helps with the 3D quality of it. So everything up here is the sky, everything down here is the ground. Now I'd like to give you two options on how you can complete this drawing. So I'd like you to watch them both first before you make up your mind on how you'd like to finish. Uh, the first one's probably the easiest. I'm going to make it look like this uh, birdhouse is hanging from a tree branch. So to do that I want to put the, in the middle of the roof here I want to put a circle on top and this is like an eye bolt that you would screw into the wood but this is what sticks out so there's a circle and then inside that there's another circle and then to make it look like it's hanging from either a tree branch or uh, something else I'm going to go ahead and make a line here where a wire or a string or a rope is is uh, tied to the eye bolt and then a line that goes straight up and off the edge of the paper. So then now it looks like it's hanging from something, like a, it could be hanging from a tree branch. So that's one way to, to com make it look like it's in, in the air and being supported. Um, and then also uh, something else you can do is you could darken in. Now don't do this yet because I want you to see another option. You can darken in the inside of the birdhouse and that'll help it look even more 3D as well by having that darkened in like it would be in real life if there's nothing in there at the time. Okay so this is this is one option and then of course if you choose this option, once you get done, I'd like to go ahead and think of things you could put in the background, trees and such, or if there's anything uh, below the birdhouse you want to put down here on the ground. Um, and that would be, this. so this is one way to do it, and then you would color. Um, 
let's look at another way. Okay, now in this example, you can see I've actually got a bird in the birdhouse. So that's why I didn't want you to fill that in yet, because that, that might be something you would want to do, is have the bird's head sticking out of the birdhouse. And then also on this, this one, instead of hanging from a tree, I'm going to make it look like it's supported on top of a pole, by sitting on top of a pole. So I'm going to come to the bottom here, and I'm going to try to make the pole sit in the center. So I'm going to use this edge of the birdhouse as, uh, as being kind of the center point. And I'm going to draw a line on either side of that, about equal distance from each other. So I just kind of sketch out where that's going to be. And then that line is going to go all the way off the bottom of the page. And these two lines that I'm making, I want them to be parallel. And this is like it's sitting on top of a pole. Sometimes you see birdhouses sitting up on top of tall poles. So that's what I'm doing here. And it's we cannot see the bottom of the pole. It goes off. It's somewhere down below. So we can't see that. But this is far. That's as much as we can see. And to add to this... Um, to make it look like it's 3D as well, I can put some shadow or shading underneath the birdhouse there. So just like there would be in real life, there would be if the light is up above, you're going to have some shadow below. And that makes it look even more three-dimensional. Of course, it'll be darker up closer to the birdhouse and then get lighter as it goes down. Okay, and then once you have either the, uh, make it look like it's hanging from the branch, or you put it on a pole, whichever way you, you choose, I want you to go ahead and finish your drawing, add details in the background, um, maybe clouds in the sky, or a sunset, or something on the ground, add some color, uh, of course clean up your drawing, add some color, and this is our project for today a three-dimensional birdhouse. If you like drawing birds, you might check out Anytime Drawing with Mr. Mayberry. Thanks for coming to the art room, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry. You should see the Martins' house. They have room for a really big family.